So let's start with day nine. Um, and we looked at it briefly last stream just to see what was going on. And it looked like we were just measuring distances to cities. Um, every year, Santa manages to deliver all of his presents in a single night. This year, however, is some new locations to visit. Oh, I see. What What's the shortest distance? Oh, okay. So it's not just measuring stuff. It's the traveling salesman problem. Okay, which, um, <laughs> which means we just have to try every possibility, right? I don't think there's a, I don't think there's an algorithm traveling salesman. There's an approximation algorithm. Um, but I don't think there's any, oh, genetic, al yeah, we're not, whoa, that's bright. Um, we're not going to write a genetic algorithm on this. I think I think all we're going to do is just try all the permutations. How many cities are there? Oh, that's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I'm reading this correctly, right? We have Alpha Centauri, and then all these guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Assuming everything's connected to everything else, and it looks like it is, based on this input. Um, so we can just copy paste. Oh, oh, it's input 2015 day nine dot text. And we'll just paste that in there. It's short enough. We can just paste it rather than having to do anything fancy. Okay. So we, we need to parse it. And it looks like we have zero, two and four are the significant pieces of information. So that's simple enough. And then we just have a from a two and a distance. So I guess the only question is we want to know is how to store it. So let's go first. The, our workflow is we create a mod. We pub use the mod. I guess we don't have to pub use the mod. We can just use it, right? It doesn't need to be pub used. And then we put this here. And then we put this here. Right, and then we let it build and fail. We grab the name of the file that it's looking for, and we edit it, and then we have AOC, oops, I guess we can't do it that way. AOC, like that, and we say AOC 2015-09. Um, it would be nice, um, should I do that now? I'll do it. I'll do it after, and then and, and I just need to remember to do it after. And what I was thinking of ha having this is like in the uh, Ulta Snip thing, allowing me to do this here with the, just a tab. That would be nice. Okay, so we have this, and if we run it now, it should just run day nine, right? Because we only run the last one now by default. Okay, so oh, um, let's let's figure out first how to read the input. files. Why did I do that? Oh, no. There we go. Um, step one is to read the input. So we're going to have what would be the best thing here is maybe we have a from a to and a distance. And then when we do, hmm, and we're going to have to run all the permutations, right? So I think what we need to do is just have it both ways, right? So use standard collections hash map, right? And then in here, we'll create a hash map of dist. It should be a hash map of, it'll be a from, a to, and this will be the key. And then we'll just get the distance, which I'm gonna guess are all just, positive numbers. We don't have negative distances. So that's going to be how we store it. And now we just need to parse it. So let lines, oh no, for L in lines, for L in read lines, input 2015.09.txt. I'm going to do that. And then we have to say use AOC lib read lines. 
Oh, I'm missing dist, right. We are. So we're going to create a new hash map. Uh, and then for each line, we'll just split it. Let line is equal to l.split on space. And then this should just be a, oh. This is a, this is an iterator, right? So should we just collect at this point here? And I think it has to be stir, not string, because of, oops, I've got the colons. Yeah. And then we can just put dist here, and that should get the thing to build. OK. So now this is a vec of stir. Um, and now what we want to do is say dist.insert. And we'll say line of 0, line of 2, right? So from 2. And then the distance, which is going to be line of four dot pars on that. We'll assume it just works because the input works. And then dist is expected string transfer. Oh, right. So do I have to string all these? And by all, I mean both. Yeah, okay. Um, The only catch I'm seeing here is that we also want to be able to have the same thing for the other direction, right? Right, so this needs to be like this. That way we can ask for either for in either direction and still get the value of the distance out. Um, then, once we have that, part one becomes a matter of coming up with the permutations. So we could, I bet you there's a iterator, right? I, th I think I've looked this up before, Rust iter tools. There's a crate for it. But, I mean, it's not hard to write, right? A permutation thing. Uh, and then what we'll, what we'll do is, maybe what we can do is say, um, for p in, Maybe we could just get the permutations. So for mutations, right? And then what we're gonna do is measure the distance for each. Um, and what, what, what are we doing here? I don't even know what we're doing. This is the shortest distance you can travel, right? So we just need to say, Um, so the shortest distance, let's start with like you went max or something, whatever it is. Um, shortest is equal to, when do I have U64? I, is this, is this a thing? It is not. How do you get max? Is it just that? Yeah, it is. Okay. And then permutations doesn't exist. So we can add that. Um, permutations self and that's going to return well let's take a look at what the algorithm needs but we can just write the, we can write the skeleton of it right for p and permutations now for every permutation we want to visit each pair because this oh this isn't anything yet okay let's let's write the permutations um and let's hmm Okay, let me look it up real quick. I think it, um, um, I think it's heap, if I remember correctly, heap permutation. Yeah, heap permutation algorithm. Heap's algorithm. Dark mode. Where is dark mode? Nowhere. Um... dark red. Not helpful. Okay, so we'll just have to blind ourselves for a little bit. What do we got? Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is, this first one is a recursive version. 
and one can also write the algorithm in non-recursive format. All right. The only reason I'm hesitating right now is because the recursive algorithm requires you to generate all of them up front, which means you need to have them all in memory at once. Whereas an iterative one, you can just return one at a time as long as you save the, your, your current state. Um, but this is the easiest one. Let's, let's, let's do this, this version first. And then if, if everything works fine, we can always look at alternate approaches. We'll call it generate. Sure. K is an integer. on the K initial elements. So, huh. We already have, I mean, yeah. So we already have the length, right? That comes for, for free in Rust. It's included in the, oh, but we're gonna be doing swaps here, which means we need to be able to mutate Okay. Um, should we just call it A? Uh, we got to come up with a better name. Um, and it's a vec of, oops, vec. I'm getting this backwards because I'm looking at this code here. Uh, it's just U64. And this is going to just return. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to, um, my brain is breaking because we have to return this as, uh, okay, Here, what I'll do is I'm going to cheat a little bit. And we'll just put the, uh, a list vec of vec of u64 here, right? Because each permutation is going to be a vec of u64, and then we're going to re just return a list of them. And then we'll say impl perms. And this might be the easiest way to do it. fn generate um, itself. And then we have the vector that we're working with, which is a mute of u64. Let's get rid of that. And then, oh, we do need to specify the size because each time we're, we're reducing it by one. And this is K, let's call it size. Right, and now we don't have to return anything because what we'll do is we're just gonna push onto the list every time we generate something. So we say if K, which is size equals one, then we say list, self list, push back from back, right? Because we're just re regenerating the full output of that. Else, we're going to call generate. Generate permutation with kth unaltered. And then we go through each one and swap and then generate k minus one here. Or can we simplify this a little bit? I'm just trying to think of how, how, how best to simplify this. Can we, hmm. All right, well, let's, let's follow the algorithm. Um, self generate, and we're gonna pass in, and I, I flipped these around, didn't I? That's okay. Um, we're gonna pass in vec, and then size minus one. And then we're gonna say four I in zero dot dot size minus one self no if k is even size mod two is zero then we're going to swap two elements um, okay so we can just say vec dot swap I and size minus one zero indexed. Okay, yeah, otherwise we're going to say vec dot swap zero and size minus one. And then we'll say inside the four, we'll say self generate a and size minus one. 
a. I'm, I'm still doing a because I'm looking at this a here. That's dumb. All right, and then that's all we have to do. And then list should be all the permutations. Let's try just doing it really quickly here. If I create a vector of u64s, um, vec bang, um, one u64, two and three, and I should be able to say, let permutations equal to uh, perms. Uh, this has to be mutable, right? Perms um, list of v. I guess I could, I could do it this way, right? Uh, oh, jeez, come on. There, jeez, I can't do anything here. My keyboard's all offset. Yeah, blame me my keyboard. So this is a, oh, we can't just generate perms? Oh, because I did this. Yeah, that's a perm, perms. So then we should be able to say permutations.generate. Oh, no, no, we, mm, we don't do it that way. We do it this way. Let back. Like this, and we just say vec new here. Right? Still doesn't like it. Um, oh, vec bang. And supplied one argument, subtracted two arguments. Oh, right. So we need to actually tell it the size. So it's just three. That's simple enough. And this doesn't like this. So let's go away. Let's comment that out. And uh, we need to generate the output. Create output. Format bang. Can we do this? permutations.list and see what we get. There. So now if I run it, we have 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, and 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we have permutations. That's a little awkward to use, but it does the trick. I guess what we can do also is just... Um, Oh, the order. I was going to say I could just copy and paste the output and make that a test, but the order matters in a test, whereas this could generate it in almost any order. So, okay. Oh, right. We don't want U64s here. We want to generate a list of all the cities. Okay, so the cities, right? That's what we want to, um, huh. Right, that's what that's what we want to permute on is all the cities. So let's do that. Hash set here. And then we can just say cities hash set of uh, string. And that's just going to be a list of all the cities. And we can just say cities dot insert let from is equal to line of zero to string. Let two is equal to line of two to string. And then let dist is equal to, oh, I can't use dist. Distance, <laughs> line of four dot bars from 64. All right. All right, and then I can just say insert from two distance, and then make this two from distance. And then cities insert from and cities insert two. And then this needs a cities. And this needs a cities. Okay. It's getting a little more complicated, but we'll get there. What? Oh, because I moved it? Why does it only care about this one? Oh, is that because it's the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I have to clone all of these in. What if I, if I, if I allocate them here, 
Can I do that? Map S. That's not too string. Nope. Oh. I shouldn't have to do this. Move occurs because really? But I don't want to I don't want to put a string reference in there. Right? That's gonna blow everything up. Expected string found string, yeah. Alright. I'm annoyed. So I guess what we can do is get rid of this. Um, and we can still do this, collect stir, and then just say two string here. And that should create a new one, right? For each one, and then cities. All right. That gets around that problem. What's the warnings? We're not using stuff. We're not using stuff. Okay. So now we have cities. And that's actually what we want to permute on, is all the cities. Um, self cities. Oh, and then cities. Land. Oh, and then I have to change this from U64 um, to a string. Or I could just make it a type uh, generic. Since it this would probably be a good thing to have in a, um, a library, right? Um, boom, 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 boom. Let me put T in here. That's all we need to do, right? That makes it type generic. Clone is not implemented for T. Yes, it is. Oh, damn. Expected slice found hash set. Oh. Yeah, okay, so um, we just need to pull out the the, uh, the full cities list. Um, I guess what we can just do is collect them up, let city list, go to self cities. Um, and we just iter and then map. I guess, can we just collect directly to a string? Vec of string. And then make this um, city list. We can't collect it because we can't build it from item, oh, ampersand string. Yeah. And it's not mutable, so it has to be mutable. <laughs> oh, the pain. The pain. I guess what we could do is just say self city len, because this should be the same length. Yeah. Okay, so now let's print those out and see if we get. Oh, there's going to be a lot of permutations, aren't there? Let's run it here, cargo run, and put it through less, because that's going to be billions, right? 241 milliseconds. And here's our first, um, first permutation. And then we have all the other ones. There's going to be a lot. Let's, let's find out how many there are. Um, Source uh, bin run nine. Okay, now it's in my history. Um, output. Let's change this into instead of this, we'll just say len here. Permutations list len. So, how many are there? There's 40,320 permutations for this. All right. So now we just need to go through each one for p in permutations list here. And now we just need to get the, the length. Uh, oh, right, we had shortest. 
I'm shortest here, I set it to the maximum. And now P should be a vec of strings, right? So now this is just a list of cities. So we can say, let my total is equal to zero for pair in P windows two. Uh, and now we want to get the distance total plus equals self dist get um, pair of zero, pair of one, unwrap. And then now we have a total distance for that. We can say if total is less than shortest. Oh, right, we can say shortest is equal to is equal to sure test dot min total. And then we can just output that. And that doesn't work because I forgot that. Oh, and I keep doing the um, semicolon thing on the output line. Cannot move out of here because pair has type string, which does not implement the copy string, copy trait. <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to move it. I just want to look it up. I had the same problem here. Okay. I don't want to have to clone it either because that's going to make things super slow. All right, let's see how bad it is. 141 is the shortest distance, is what this is claiming. Let's find out if it's right. And it wasn't too bad. It took a half, over a half a second, but that's not too, too bad. And it's the right answer. Okay, so that's day nine, part one. Let's commit these changes. Um, and the other thing I can do is we can look at the um, using this non-recursive version to gen to make this a general purpose thing. So let's let's first commit these changes. Get add input and source. Get commit 2015 day nine part one. Well, let's take a look at what part two is because maybe that'll help us enhance our permutations thing. The next year, just to show off sentence and size, take the root longest, oh, longest distance. So we just do the same thing. The thing is we could generate these two things at the same time, right? And then just save it. And that makes that would make part one take longer, slightly longer, and part two take zero time. So we can just, oh, I guess we don't need to st store shortest, but we do need to store longest. So self longest equals zero, and then self longest equal to self longest max total and then this is just create output self longest and it fails oh uh longest zero oh that yeah and then we don't even have to do this nice run 736 that's the right answer okay very good. Um, so that's the permutation stuff done. Let's make that a generic git commit am. Yeah. Let's make the permutation generic. Step one of that is to make it um, so that we can actually generate them iteratively so that um, 
let's create a new permutations. Uh, we we want to generate them iteratively so that we can just um, we can lazily construct them. We don't want to create forty thousand, right? We just saw in the previous in the in day nine, it's creating forty thousand entries all at once. But if we can just create one at a time, then I think we're going to be good. So, what's the best way to, to do this? Would probably be just to create a perm iterator and then have these create and initialize all these C's to zero. We have an I and we have the, um, the actual vector that we're messing with and we're calling it A. So we can create a struct, uh, perm mutation iterator, right? Um, I is going to be U size, C is going to be a vec of U size. I'm just going basing it off of this here. C is an array of int. And since it's indexing into A, we want it to be a U size. That's why I chose that. And I is a U size because we're indexing into C. And then we have the array itself, which is the vec of, oh, oh, oh right, we want T here, vec of T. So now we say impl. T. This shouldn't be too, too bad, right? Um, permutation iterator T. And we want a new function and we want uh, to implement iterator for it. So pub fun new. And we're going to pass it a vector. Uh, and that's going to be a vec of T. And it's going to return a self. And we just say self. Oh, uh, we have to initialize C. Uh, we got to initialize C to all zeros. So we're going to create it with a capacity of vec.len, right? And then just set them all to zeros. So zero dot dot vec dot len. Can I? Can I iter mute? For each C C equals zero. Well, let me do that. Oh, I I can't I can't build it until I include it in a li library, right? Um, mod permute pub use permute star. Okay. Um, hmm. So this says expected mute, but found integer expected due to this parameter type. So what is this parameter type? It's a mute of unknown, but, oh, because I didn't say what kind of, so this is vec u size. So now this should be a vec of u size. This should be a u size. Oh, mute u size. So I should be able to say a star and we're not returning self yet. So let's do that self. Um, okay, so just looking at this algorithm here, first we initialize C to zero, we'll do that at construction time, and then the first thing we're going to output is the array. Then we start I at one. So let's, we'll start I at zero here, and then we're going to just say A vec clone, we can do that. Uh, oh, it doesn't implement clone. Okay, so I think we just have to specify that here, right? Yeah, okay. And now, um, now that we have it, we should be able to implement uh, T clone iterator for permutation iterator T. Right, so if we, we were gonna create the iterator, um, and I think it's just iter, right? Oh, we, that's right, we need item equals type. And what are we gonna return? We're gonna return, each time we're gonna return a vector of t. And then we also have to implement next, right? 
Is that the only thing we need to implement? Just next. Yeah. Okay. How bad could this be? So next is going to say if i is zero, we're going to do this output and set i to one. So if self dot i is equal to zero, return. Oh, self dot i equals one. I got to do that before we return, and then say return sum because it's an iterator. We have to return it as a sum, as an option. Self dot a dot clone. So we generate a copy of a and return that. Um, otherwise, we'll say none here. Um, should we write test for this? As we go through this, mod test use superstar test fn generates first one. Um, so then we're going to just create a vec of just whatever one two three and then i can say let mute p is equal to permutation iterator new v and then say assert eq p dot next is equal to sum vec bang of one two three and then assert p dot next after that is none All right so it just generates that well first one. oh that's not going to work for future tests but it should work for this test okay we have three warnings oh um because we're not using new yet but this is a library, so it shouldn't complain about the fact that the associate function is never used. Unless I did something wrong in terms of the library itself, setting up the library. It shouldn't care that we're not using new. This this will fail later, right? All we're doing, all I'm trying to do now is we get this. And oops, I eliminated the, or I deleted the thing. Where's the test? Is this only testing the, oh no, here it is. Okay. So I want to understand this because it shouldn't care that we're not using new. Oh, I know why, because this is not a pub struct. Am I right? I'm right. Okay, it still didn't still didn't do that okay because we're not using c yet we set c but we didn't read c all right let's do that next um so now i is one we set i to one here so we can skip that line and we can just say while self i is less than a is self a len what are we going to do if we're going to say if self of c of i is less than i, then we do this. Right? Um, and then we check to see if it's even. If self.i mod 2 is zero, is 0, then we're going to say self a swap, and we're swapping a of 0 with a of i. Else, uh, self a swap um, we're going to swap c of i so self dot c of self dot i <laughs> and self dot i okay and then we want to generate this output uh, which means we're going to return some self a clone but before we do that we got to do these things here so we're going to say self.c of self.i plus equals 1 and self.i plus equals 1, like that. And then else, 
we're going to reset C and I here. So self dot C of self dot I is equal to zero and self dot I plus equals one. Okay, so this should generate, and now this test should fail um, because it's not returning index out of bounds. So len is zero. That doesn't make sense. Let me do this. But the index is one on line 30. The length is zero. Why is the length zero? This should be len c dot len. Zero. Why? Vec dot len. Three. Oh, I need to push. Duh. That was dumb. Vecklen for each entry. Um, C push zero. I was hoping I could just set it, but I guess I couldn't. And now I broke everything. Un oh, yeah. Here we go. And now assertion failed is none. Right. So now we're actually getting all of the all the permutations. Um, and of course, the tests scroll off the screen. All right. So I'm assuming all the permutations are there. What we can do now is refactor day nine uh, to use this. Maybe. Let's try. So instead of using this generate here, what we'll do is we'll say, I'm going to, uh, let's comment this part out because that's the code that's generating the permutations. And we'll say, let's, oh, we have to use it. Uh, permutation iterator and read lines. Let iter is equal to permutation iterator new. Um, self cities iter collect um, deck of stir. Let's see if this first. Let's see if this works. This probably won't work. Yeah, and then this becomes iter. And we can't collect there, right? Expected vec found vec. Oh, maybe we could do this. Expected string. Okay, so now, yeah, so that's why we have to, to, to do the whole shebang. So map x, x dot two string, and then change this to just String. All right, we got three warnings, right? Because we're not using those two things. Let's see if we have get the same answer. That's going to be the, the ultimate. 187 and 358. Those don't look the same. 141 and 736 are the actual answers. Okay, so we messed up something. That's disappointing because I, th I really thought we had that. Right? Self zero. Let's, let's compare it to the actual code and see where I messed up. Self C, self less I. If it's even, then we're going to swap zero and self of I. Otherwise, we'll swap self C, self I with self I. We set this plus equals one. Oh, oh, here. We're supposed to set i just to one. Got it. Okay, so now run. 141 and 736. Those look right. 141, 736. Perfect. All right. Yeah, it would be nice to have actually a test to do that. But. 
So that means that we can get rid of this code here and all of this, right? And all of this. What would be, yeah, let's, so now run real quick. Yep, okay, so let's commit these changes. Generic a permutation generator. What would be even nicer, and I don't know if we can do this, um, or maybe maybe we save it for another stream, would be to make a, write, make a trait that we could use to um, um, just on, that that we can implement for vectors. That would say so I could say vec dot permutations and that would return the uh, the permutation iterator itself. Actually, that seem actually that seems like that would be really easy to do because <laughs> we we've written all the code already. All right, so what we should be able to do then is just say pub trait permutation trait. of t and say permutations which takes a self and returns a permutation iterator of t right and if i implement this trait impl t clone right it has to have the clone that's something we learned permutation trait for vec of t Right, and then we should be able to just use that. F in permutations, we take a self and returns a permutation iterator of T. And we just say that permutation iterator new self. Right? Oh, I knew it wasn't that simple. Oh. What's this? Implicitly return. Oh, keep doing that semicolon. Okay, so we got zero errors and zero warnings. Let's find out if we can actually use that. That would be fun. Because what we can do is say, here, we just create the cities. Let cities city list is equal to this mess. Right? And then we should be able to say for C, city in cities. And then comment this out all the way down to here. That looks a little ugly, but I think you can see what I'm doing here, right? Let's put this over here. Right? And this is unknown, and that's unknown. Oh, city list. It's a vector string, and that's a string. That's wrong. Oh, city list. This is our new code now, where we call dot permutations on it, on the vector. Right? City list is a vector of string, and now city should be unknown. What's the bug? What's the error here? Uh, city. Oh, I, let, I deleted this line or commented it out. So per, no method name permutations found for struct string in the current scope. Do I have to include it? Permutation trait. I do. We do have two warnings though. Oh, because we're not using permutation iterator directly. Run. Yeah, okay, so that works. That's a pretty sweet little thing we can do now. On any vector, we can just say dot permutations and it'll give it to us. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this to permutations. Um, uh, 
um, because that makes that makes it easier to import and it's more obvious what we're importing. All right, and run. Okay, 141 and 736. Get status, get commit, dash am. Make the permutation a trait on vec. So now we could take any VEC and permute them. And I think that's going to be useful in general for advent of code. 